Hi everyone! So I'm finally doing my sliver patterning video. Um, for a look ahead, this is what a finished sliver looks like. Um, this is the back, so it opens in the back. Um, if you have someone helping you fit it. If you don't, then you want it to open it in the front. Got little bust arts side, bottom bust arts side seams, and it looks just like this. It's like a shell of your body. So, if you look in the comment, in the like note section of this video down there, um, there's a link to download the measurements you're going to need. We're going to try this and see how it goes. I hope you can see this. This is going to be probably in two parts. So we'll have a drawing part and then you cut it out, cut out your, your block, cut it out of your fabric, stitch it all together, and then we'll have a fitting one where I show you how to make sure that your silver fits correctly. So, today, Get your, all your measurements. If you have a question about you don't know what a measurement is, just ask me or look it up. Um, and yeah, so have all those, print them out, or have your computer right beside you wherever you keep your measurements, and then you get going. Um, it's a good idea to enter your measurements on the computer though, that way if you do lose that sheet, you don't actually lose your measurements. So today, I'm not making a sloper for myself, I'm making it for this random actress in my binder, um, so that will be exciting. So, first, what we're going to do is we're going to take the bust full measurement, because this is the fullest part of the upper body. So we're going to take that measurement and we're going to divide it by two. So here we have 34 bust divided by two is 17, if I'm doing good math. And you're going to want to draw this line kind of like up a little bit from the bottom, because you're going to need that bottom part. Two, one, all the way down to 17. Next measurement you're going to need is neck to waist back. And this is the longest part on the body, um, on the bottom. So, on my gal, it is 14 and a half. So we're going to square up from the end 14 and a half. Like this and draw the top there and then this is going to be 17 and you want to make sure that this is a really good rectangle because this is what you will be going off of for everything um, and I will take a picture of this when I'm done that way you can have a better visual in case you can't see this and I know you here let me slide this this way I'm doing it in Sharpie in hopes that you will be able to see it um, a little better. And I might have to redo this, but we'll see. So, now I have a rectangle. That is the rectangle of the sloper. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take a cross bust front to figure out how much of this rectangle is the front and how much is the back. So here, it is 18. No, 19. I won't round that. It's 19, so 19 divided by 2 is 8.5. No, it's not. I lied. It's 9.5. So I'm just going to draw 9.5 on here over from the left side. So we have front over here, back over here. Square down from that. Front, back. Okay. Yay. So now we're going to do the next. So on the right side, on your back side, you're going to draw a little line that's half an inch up from the bottom of your rectangle. So half an inch up and then you're going to go to the top and you're going to draw another little line half an inch up from there. So we're scooting this up half an inch. And then you're going to square over from that half an inch, three, eh, two and a half inches. Necks are different. This is the neck and the arm's eye, which is, which is the part, are the two parts of the body that are really hard to just draw. Um, I almost always like have to take off sleeves and draw in these lines to get them perfect. So then we're just going to round down from there so it makes a nice little rounded neck edge. And you have your back neck edge. And in the front, I'm going to draw down from the top of your line, two and a half inches. I'm gonna draw over three inches. 
I always question myself on this because like I never can get neck edges right right in the pattern. I mean I normally can get pretty close, but um so down two and a half inches, over three inches, and then up from that three inches, half an inch. And if you want, you can make a lovely little square. Square. And then you're just gonna round that up. Like I said, you'll probably end up redrawing this when you fit it, but you gotta have somewhere to start. So from that lovely little half inch up, you're gonna draw a line like this that is an inch and a half below. So down here I have a line that just kind of runs in the middle of nowhere an inch down from the top of my rectangle. And this is where our shoulder sits because your shoulder is not straight across. It has a little bit of a slope down from the neck to your arm joint. So now we need the measurement that is shoulder seam. This is probably a kind of complicated um, measurement to take, but it's pretty much from where if you wear in a shirt where the collar of your shirt starts to where the where the sleeve is, like like here. I know, I'm not it's like here. So on her it's four and a half. And normally for girls it's like four and a half, five inches. Um it's normally not very long. So using your ruler you're gonna find where four and a half inches intersects with that line that we drew before. Do, do, do. And then you're going to do the same from the neck edge on the back. Draw a little line where four and a half inches intersects the top of the rectangle. So top of the rectangle on the back side, an inch below on the right side, or on the front side. Okay, so now we're going to take the neck to waist front measurement, minus 14. And we're going to measure down from the bottom of the neck 14 inches. Okay. So now we're going to go into the land of bus darts. Which is not, you know, it, they're just bus darts. So first measurement we need is bust point to point, which is pretty much nipple to nipple, was what that measurement is. Um, we just like to say it in a classier way. So we're going to take that measurement on her. It's six and six and three quarters. And on girls, it's normally between five and seven inches, um, typically. So, six and a quarter. Oh, I hate that. Okay, so that's about three and three eighths. Draw a little line three and three eighths in from your center front. So that is, right now we're locating where the bust point is. <clears throat> Next we're going to take, we're going to find out what waist to bust measurement is. So we have a shoulder to waist and a shoulder to bust measurement and we're going to take the shoulder to waist measurement and subtract the shoulder to bust measurement from that and that will give us what we want. So on my girl it's seven. Um, so you have a bust start that goes vertical and a bust start that goes horizontal. Um, and each of those measurements depend on two different differences. So the first measurement depends on the difference between your um, across bust front and your under bust measurement. And if that is like really big, then this might be bigger. Um, normally it's like anywhere from three quarters of an inch to maybe an inch and a half. Um, I normally go for just an inch and then you can adjust that in the fitting. Um, so we know that this is going to be dropped an inch down. And then this measurement depends on the difference between your across bust front, or your bust full and your waist. So if it's like a couple inches, then you're maybe only going to want it to be an inch. But if it's quite a big difference, like my girl here has a bust full of like 34, and her waist is 25, which is a pretty big difference, so I'm probably going to give her an inch and a half down here. But for me, my difference is like 5 inches, so I would only give myself an inch. So... Knowing that our side bust start is going to be an inch, I'm going to draw this bust point an inch down from the bottom of my rectangle. So right now I'm looking at measurement of seven. I'm going to draw it six up from there. That's probably going to be the most confusing part of this. Post your questions. I know I, I can say things confusing sometimes. So now that we got that, we're going to draw in. So, a line from here that goes all the way down, and we know that our bust measurement 
is going to be on this girl I'm gonna make it an inch and a half so I'm gonna center my line on here and I'm gonna draw three quarters of an inch this way three quarters of an inch this way right like that go ahead and ask me questions I know this part's confusing okay so next we're gonna do the side seam so you should have a measurement that's underarm to waist. This is the measurement of the side seam on her. It's seven and a half because she's got a long torso. And draw seven and a half inches up from the bottom of my rectangle on that seam that separates the front from the back. And then we're going to figure out her waist measurement. On hers it's 25. You're going to take that measurement and divide it by four. So, 25 divided by 4 is 6 and a quarter. What? Holy crap, girl. Okay, so, we're going to draw 6 and a quarter out from the center back line, right like this, make a little mark there. We're going to connect the top of our side seam to that little line, and that gives us, the back's almost done. It's pretty cool. And then we're just going to do a little swiggly curve so that this line connects the bottom of the rectangle up to our little half inch up point. <clears throat> then we're going to draw this line down a little so that I can see where that point is. And keeping in count that this side dart is going to be an inch, instead of drawing this down 7 inches, I'm going to draw down 8 inches. So. 8 inches comes to here. Then from my bust point, I'm going to draw a straight line that goes horizontally all the way over to this side seam. I'm going to find out what an inch down is from that. I'm going to take this out about an inch from the bust point, and I have a lovely little dart. Dart! Okay. Now, I'm going to do the same over here. I'm going to draw an inch down from my bust point. I'm going to connect that line to my two darts down here. La, la, la. And then I'm going to have this angle up to that waist. See how, see how some today's. Okay. So now I have this. The only thing left is the arms eye where your sleeve gets set in. So. Like I said before, this will be the, one of the trickiest measurements as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the arm's eye to arm's eye front measurement and the arm's eye to arm's eye back measurement. And your arm's eye is like right here, like where your muscle joint is. So, I'm going to take that measurement and in the front on her it's 11 and 3 quarters. 5 and 5.875, so that would be it. Um, so I'm going to draw a little line that comes to about the area on here that's in between my shoulder seam and my side seam. And then in the back it's 12 and a half. So I'm going to draw a little line that comes in that same section here. And you'll notice that in the back it normally pretty much goes straight down and scoops in. And in the front it has to scoop back and then round into your arm seam. That's because of those muscles in the front of your arms. They need the space to move. So then we're just going to draw a lovely little line that comes all the way back to that mark and then scoops around into our side seam. And you can use a French curve ruler to do this um, if you have one. I just don't. So now what you're going to do, we have a sloper. Then we want to go through and we want to double check all the measurements. So you want to use your ruler, you want to make sure that your shoulder seams are the right length. Go ahead and take this, cut out this brown paper, don't cut out your darts. Cut it out of fabric and be sure to trace your darts into that fabric. You're going to stitch these darts together like this. Can you see that? It looks like this. Um, you're going to stitch those together, you're going to stitch together your side seams and your shoulder seams. And you want to stitch all of this on a 5, so a really big stitch, that way in case you have to rip it open, you can. So, I'm going to take a picture of this and put it up. I'm going to write a bunch of notes on it so that you can see it. If you have any questions, please ask. If you get stuck, take a picture, send it to me, I will help you. 
Um, I'm trying to do this as explanatorily as possible, but I know it can be a little confusing. I'm going to take a picture, you look at it, download that thing, take your measurements, ask questions, things, part two coming soon. Woot!